Hey, thanks for joining me. It's Chris from Bar Fitness Anytime. I'm coming at you with a reformer workout. Um, you're going to need your short box and um, also your maple pole. So we'll do some short box work. Um, I always grab a sticky for some stretching at the end. So you'll need one of those as well if you slip on your floor for stretching. Um, or even on the reformer. Sometimes I put it like on the headrest um, just to keep it nice and stable. So I'm freezing right now and going to warm up with some footwork. Um, some bridging and stuff, so keep your headrest down, get your reformer set for footwork, and let's get started. So I'm dropping my straps into the well so that they're just off the shoulder rest, and I'm sitting down, scooch to the end of the reformer, slowly roll yourself down with control, and let's do some hip roll first and some breathing. Make sure your ponytail is out of the way so your neck is nice and straight because we are going to go up into a bridge. Open your feet just about hip distance apart, take a breath in, and then exhale it out, lifting up off your pelvic floor. Inhale, breathe. Push into the back of the reformer. Exhale, lift up the pelvic floor. Feel like your belly button's pulling up underneath your ribcage. Inhale. And then exhale, just kind of coming into your body, settling in. Inhale. And exhale, breathe. Let's do one more and really try to push your ribs underneath you, not up to the ceiling. Inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly start to hip roll up. You don't have to go too high at first because we're just moving through the spine, rolling down. So I'm just going to warm up my back. I think I'm warm already. Isn't that interesting? Inhale, exhale, hip roll up. I'm not even worrying about neutral and imprint. I'm just kind of letting my spine do whatever it wants to do. It feels nice and comfortable. My feet are just comfortable on the foot bar. And exhale, moving through the spine. Hollowing out the abs at the top, stretching through the hip flexor. So now I'm going to try to go a little bit higher. Make sure you're exhaling on the lift up. And exhaling on the roll down. Just warming up the back. I'm not really strongly imprinting here. Just think of more elongation of your spine and not so much of curvature. And then rolling down. Not so much pressure. Did I say one more? Let's do one more right here. <laughs> and then lifting up nice and slow. This one we're going to hold it up. I'm going to try to go up a little bit higher. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Little pulses here with the hips. Lift up. Nice and slow and steady. Trying to feel the glutes and the hamstrings. Lifting up. Chest doesn't move at all. So your sternum is relaxed. Your upper back is relaxed into the reformer. I'm not going up into my neck. Lift. And a lift. A couple more. Pulling that low belly in. Lifting the belly button up underneath the rib cage. One more lift. And then slowly rolling down. Let's do a little spinal rotation here. Drop your feet open to um, second position. And drop your knees over to one side and just stretch here. Stretching through the waist and through that quadricep. And then pull it back center. So now we're doing just a small rotation for the low back. And that mid back twisting over. I'm holding my mic in place. That's why my, my hand is on my stomach. And then come center, one more each way. Twist over, stretch. I'd really like to get a back crack here, but it's not coming yet. And then last one, over. Stretching, letting that top leg really press down. And then come center. Okay, let's do some footwork here. So scoot yourself back into the shoulder blades a little bit. You can bring the headrest up if you would like. Let's do high heel. Toes on high heel and come into a little first position. So nice narrow V. I'm sorry, it's not a first position. Think more Pilates V. So it's a very small pie wedge. It's not open completely, lightly rotated, okay? So not too tight. Take a breath in, neutral spine, press it out, keep those heels high, pull it in. Exhale, feel the steadiness of your pelvis so that, low, that lumbar spine, those vertebrae don't move back and forth at all. So stay nice and steady. Connect through your rib cage in the front. Connect with those um, obliques from the front of those ribs. And squeeze. Since I was a dancer, I started to let myself lightly rotate a little bit too much. So make sure you keep nice and narrow. And press out. Knees always, always follow toes. Pressing in. 
and pushing out and pressing in. So you want to work that contraction of the um, um, coming into the stopper. Press out. Just don't let the springs do the work. You actually resist the springs. Pushing out and resist coming in. One more. Pressing out and resist coming in. Let's stay in first position but come into a Pilates V but come into a flexed feet. Heels on the foot bar. So the toes are apart and push out through the heels. Bring it in and press. One breath in, one breath out. Or you could do a nice deep inhale and then a nice deep exhale. Nice deep inhale. Nice deep exhale. You can breathe nice and slow like that. Or you can do inhale and exhale. Or exhale and inhale. Breath is the tool, it's not the rule. So I want you just to keep breathing. Don't hold that breath. Last one. Press it out. Hold it in here. Little pulses down to the stopper. Pulsing down. Pulsing down. So you're just kissing that stopper, right? Nice and steady. And again, feel like that control. Holding you up against, up away from that stopper. Pulse for four. My thighs are warm. Three and a two. And press it all the way out. Stretch all the way out. Squeeze those inner thighs and then come all the way in. Open up to a second position now. Again, a little bit more parallel. Not totally laterally rotated like that. Staying a little bit tighter. Let's come on to um, just arched foot. So wherever it's comfortable for, your, comfortable for your feet. Neutral spine still. Press it out. So as we move the thighs and the hip joint, you want to still stabilize that pelvis with the abdominals. That's interesting. I feel myself going straight, straight. That is interesting. Pressing out. Pulling in. This hip is really tight. Pressing out. It's lagging behind a little bit. And pressing out. Pulling in. Couple more. And a press. Pulling in. Again, what I was saying, nice stable pel pelvis no matter what position we have the thighs. And pressing out and pulling in. Let's do one more. Pressing out and pulling in and then come all the way in. Come back to a parallel um, hip distance apart position. Normal feet on the footbar. We're going to do some single leg. Keep your heavy tension. Let's press out for two times. Both legs press out one. Pull it in and a two. Now singles for four. One leg goes in tabletop, press. Come in, switch. And a press. The trick is finding that foot bar, right? And three. Pull it in. And a two. Pull it in. Four, or two here. Press it out, one. Come on in. And neutral, two. Bring it in. La and that's four. Press out. Pull it in. And a two. Stretch that quadricep. Use the hamstrings, use the glutes. Three, one more. Press and pull it in four. Let's wrap the toes, stay in parallel position. Grab with a foot bar with those toes like your little monkey or a frog. Squeeze those toes over that foot bar. Press it out, drop the heels under, pull it in. And press, squeeze that foot bar, pull it in. So now you're working the bottoms of your feet. Press it out, pull it in and a press. Relaxing your chest, your neck, your jaw. Press. Concentrating on your movement of your hips and your knees and your ankles. Working out through your feet, working through your quads and your hips and hamstrings. Keeping your neutral. Press. There's so many things to think about. Goodness. It's like about 95. Press it out. Pull it in one more time. Press it out and pull it in here. Little pulses down, pulsing down. Work through that feet, those feet and the shins. Pressing down. Squeeze that foot bar with those toes for four, for three, and two. Press it all the way out. Straighten those knees. Pull the kneecaps up and then come all the way in and then let it go. Good. Let's do a little hip, more hip rolling here. I'm just going to shake my legs out real quick. Hip roll. Nice and wide. I'm um, second position. Place the headrest down. Make sure your headrest is down. Again, make sure your neck is, is nice and and straight. Take your breath in, hands by your hips. Exhale, hip roll up here. Think elongating your spine, lifting your hips forward. See how much higher you can go now that we're warm up through the hips and the hamstrings and the quadriceps and the spine. 
Rolling all the way down, one vertebra at a time, articulating your spine, try not to move the carriage. Pressing up. Inhale. Exhale, rolling down. Feeling those outer hips work just a little bit. This time we're going to stay up there and hold it. Pulling the belly button up underneath your spine. Stay right here and just press your knees out to the side. Whoa, I'm moving my carriage. Try not to move your carriage. Knees go out to the sides like your little butterfly wings. Pressing out, squeezing those outer hips. Press out for four more and three more. Pull those heels into the seat. And a one. Hold the pressure out. Now rolling down. Feel those outer hips and the outer glute. Really have to work here. Oh my goodness. Pressing that carriage in. Woo! Shake it out. Come up to sitting and then change your spring tension. Come down to just one spring. Okay, so whatever you had for footwork, make it a third or a quarter of what you were in. Okay, we're going to do some hamstring work. So when the carriage is really light, it's very interesting when you do footwork to change the engagement of your muscles. Lying back down. Okay, I'm warm. My sweatshirt's coming off in a minute. So what I would like you to do for the feet is just go onto an arched foot. So it is nice and light. Hold your neutral spine. This is going to be a little tricky. So hold that neutral spine, connect through the rib cage in front, press it out. Don't go too far because you're really going to push yourself away. Pull it in. And I want you to really fire the hamstrings coming in as you do this. Pressing out. Try to use the glutes and use the hamstrings, which is why I save that um, hip roll um, with the legs out for last because I want you to feel those hips a lot. Pressing out. And the glutes right over the sit bones, okay? Pressing out. I really feel my right one. I'm trying to feel my left, but I just got weird things going on with my left hip. Pulling in. My whole left side, my left knee, Sprained my left ankle in 2005, so it probably has something to do with my ankle coming up the chain. Oh, and then this, actually this femur is weird in my hip too. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Pulling in. A couple more. Let's say two. Ribs are connected, still in front, holding that neutral. Not rocking on your pelvis at all. Last one. And then bring it in. Pull one leg to tabletop, one leg at a time. Don't go too fast. And slowly pull it in. Try to engage that hamstring and that glute. Interesting, I picked my right because I can feel it. And two. And bring it in. And one more neutral spine. Come in, switch, pulling it in. Here we go, press it out, one. And pull in. Okay, now I can feel it. When it gets to work all by its little lonesome, I can engage the left a lot better. Three. Neutral. And then one more. And a four. Nice work. And then bring it in. Perfect. Okay. Come on up. Change your spring tension now for feet and straps. So I'm going to come on to two reds because I like my feet and straps a little bit heavier. Grabbing your ropes and your straps. Line yourself back down. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, when we were doing footwork, single leg footwork, you could put your um, headrest up if you wanted to, but <clears throat> you don't have to if you don't want to. If your neck is in a good position, you should be fine. Okay, let's press it out. Put one foot in at a time, carefully. And then the other foot in. Oh, my butt is coming up. Oh, coming down. All right, here we go. Let's stay parallel first. Keep that neutral spine. Don't come out of that neutral spine at all. Letting that little arch of the back be present. Here we go. Bend as you flex your feet and push away in point. Don't move through the hips at all. Bend. This is the challenge because what wants to happen is that back wants to press down. So keep that back up. Reach in your tailbone and your sit bones towards your foot bar as you do bend and straighten. Bend and push away. It's such an easy move, but there is a lot going on here. So I don't want you just to always kind of, you know, go really quickly through bend and straighten because there is a lot going on. Parallel frog. Bend. Press away. Reach as you point and bend. Neutral spine, press away. Let's do one more. Flex as you come in and push away and point. Let's lightly rotate now. So turned out, come into a first position. I want you to really wrap those thighs around each other. Okay, so squeeze those inner thighs. Here we go, bend and straighten. Keep the neutral, flex as you bend in. Little frog, press away and point. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Just make sure on the inhale that you're pressing the ribs underneath you. Push into that carriage. Press away. 
We're using everything we can, everything. We're using the ropes, we're using the straps, we're using the springs, we're using the carriage. The carriage tells us a lot about our spine, so pay attention. What is your spine doing? Where are you touching on the carriage? Are you moving on the carriage? Feel that in your body. One more. Press away, because I think that was a lot. Come back to parallel. Hold your neutral, lift and lower. So you're not going to go high into neutral at all. I can't even go up to 90. Then press into the hamstrings as you pull down. Inhaling here, hinge at the hip, keep that neutral spine, and then press down. I think I'm letting my ribs pop. Remember to connect those ribs in front. Inhaling here, push into the carriage, exhale, pull down. Let's do a couple more. Lift, because uh, lift and lower is just wonderful. It's a great hamstring stretch. If you hyperextend, you're not pushing into the backs of your knees. Pull down, turn out, now lateral. Same thing, lift and lower. My feet are really pointed. So really push through those feet. Push into the straps, reach away. Feel this all the way down the sides of your calves as you lift and lower. Again, no movement for your spine. Inhale, hinge. No movement, no movement, no movement, no movement. Exhale, squeeze in your thighs, push into those outer hips. Lift, inhale. Exhale. Two more. Oops. Really squeeze those heels together. And again, if you hyperextend, your knees, your knees are a little bit apart. Just slightly bent, just a little soft. One more. And then pull down. Stay lightly rotated. Come into an imprint. So just think of just lengthening your back down to the mat, to the carriage, without pushing it down. Don't force it down. Just kind of let it settle into the carriage. Tighten your ribs from the front. Pull the belly button up underneath your ribs. Here we go, leg circles. Stay externally rotated. Open, circle around. Oh, that feels lovely. Lift, open, pull the heels together. Watch your hyperextended knees. Hinge and circle around, reach the feet, hinge. No movement in your spine still, right? Even though we're lengthened down to the mat, coming into an imprint, I don't want you to move your pelvis at all, so nothing moves, change in the direction, go the other way. Still externally rotated, turn out, lift up, pull down. Turn out, oh, stretch here, feel that whole stretch through the hip, Inner thigh, back of the hip, inhaling, ribs, pulling down, inhaling. I'm going so slow, I'm having a hard time breathing, one breath, but I'm just enjoying the movement of my legs. One more time. Open, 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 bring them together, and then pull them down. Staying right here, nice and low, so you can look to see like where you are in space. Um, make sure your ropes aren't hitting your shins though, but stay pretty low. Your back is still down. Um, the lower you go, the more your tendency your back is going to have to arch. So have, you know, your own range of motion here. I can go pretty low and still keep my back down, but do not tuck your tailbone up. So keep your tailbone lengthened down. Keep that lumbar spine and that sacrum um, um, lengthened with the carriage, okay, in contact with the carriage. I want you to open close here, nice and low. Open and bring them together. Don't move up to the ceiling though. Just stay in the same plane. Just opening and closing your legs sideways. And really stretching those inner thighs. Pull them together. I want to do a single leg in strap work sideways. And so this is warming up our inner thighs and our rotators from the hip. To make sure we maintain good position when we do that. One more. Twist, or <laughs> twist, whatever, Chris. Pull them together and then bend your knees in here and then let it relax for a second. I need a little bit of a break from my back and from my inner thighs. Straighten your legs up to the ceiling, pull down to the foot bar. Short spine. Scooting yourself away. Make sure your headrest is down. Come parallel. Short spine, lengthen your spine up. Don't think of collapsing your feet over your head. Hinge here, 
Back is elongated. Reach your tailbone and your sit bones to the foot bar. Slowly curve your spine up to the ceiling, lifting that tailbone up as the carriage comes in, but my spine is pretty darn lengthened here. Then, oh, where's my stopper? There's my stopper. I'm hinging at the hip. Then bend your knees into your nose. There's my stopper. And then rolling down nice and slow as you're pulling your feet to your seat. So whatever knee flexion you have right here, keep it right there. And then press away. Ah. <sighs> Oh, that felt good. Hinge, lift, and now lift the sacrum up. Curve through your spine, lift up straight to the ceiling, come up as high as you can, returning that carriage into the stopper by bending at the hip joint. Then bend your knees. Lengthen your sit bones up to the ceiling. Roll down, pull your heels into your seat. Rolling down, lengthen away, lengthen away, lengthen away, lengthen away, and then press away. So it's not a collapse. You're not collapsing into yourself. Lift, hinge, stretch here, stretch those hamstrings, stretch your back, stretch your glutes, lift up, use your core, use your triceps and your shoulder blades to balance you here, not your hands. Try to lift up with your, um, just your shoulder blades and your elbows, bend, Hinge at the hip as your tailbone and sit bones reach up to the ceiling. Roll down nice and slow, elongating your spine, reaching your spine away from your head, and then press away. Wow, oh, that was wonderful. Bend your knees in. Let's come down to um, half tension now from what you just were. So we'll, I'll come down to one spring. Come down to one spring for single leg in straps sideways. And I'm going to remove my sweatshirt because now I am warm. I'm back. Okay, okay. So take one spring off. Um, I'm a half tension than what I was when double legs and straps. So straps. So you're going down to one. So you want to halve it. Okay. Here we go. You can also grab um, like a towel or even like a little smushy ball for your head. Um, just a little um, headrest. Um, again, keep your neck straight. So you don't want to head, crank that neck like that or lift even the head up too high. Come down to your elbow. I'm shooting my arm through my shoulder rest because um, this is just comfortable for my shoulders and it might not be for everybody. So make it comfortable for your body. My elbow is bent here and I'm resting my head with my hand like that. So you're going to press out, put the top foot in strap. Make sure you're comfortable on the shoulder rest, pull down. And sideline work, just like Pilates mat, you want to try to think of lifting up from this bottom um, rib cage down here. And I think I'm just a little crooked, so I'm going to square myself up a little bit. Where's my foot bar? There. Make sure you feel like you're perfectly straight from your crown of your head to your tailbone should be in one line, okay? Even though you're going to keep your neutral spine, so there's going to be a little curvature in the spine, but you want to keep it um, aligned from your tailbone to your head. Okay, here we go. Bend your bottom knee if that's comfortable on that greater trochanter on your hip underneath you if that feels comfortable. You're parallel with that leg and strap. Your hand can be on the shoulder rest or it can be just braced right there. Lift that rib cage up. We're just going to bend and straighten the leg right to the front. Bend and then press away down to the foot bar and bend and press away and you're trying to feel a nice even um, movement from the hip from the knee bend using the hamstring and the glute yes hello good morning and bend pulling the belly button into the spine press away and bend it and press away nice and easy bend and press away let's do one more and bend and then press away hold here kick it to the front watch that spine because you're going to want to hinge here but do not keep your spine straight pull down same thing like when we were doing um, legs and straps with both feet you want to keep a super straight spine the challenge here is you only have the proprioceptive feedback from the car carriage underneath you you don't have it on your back behind you so you have to feel it in your body feel the stillness and the straightness of your of your spine in your body so you don't bend. Just become aware of when you start to tilt that pelvis forward so you can fight it and resist it with the core, with the lower abdominals, with the transversus, with the obliques. Pressing to the foot bar, staying in one line. I'm trying to. Press it to the foot bar, hold it here. Turn out now, knee is angled to the diagonal so you're actually rotated here. Lift and lower up to the ceiling. Lift and then pull down and by ceiling I mean over there you're, you're not up like this you're not straight up okay you are angled out just a little bit think glute a lot of glute hyperextended knees make sure that knee is soft pull down and hinge that leg 
pulling down. Well, this feels wonderful, doesn't it? And hinge. My butt is tired. And then pull down. Let's do small circles. So lean, lift forward. So stay turned out just a little bit. Lift up just a little bit. Pull down to the foot bar. Hinge forward. Lift up. Pull down to the foot bar. Explore your own range. One more. This direction. Lift and then pull down to the foot bar. Change the direction now. Lift it up to the ceiling, pull down forward, and then pull down to the foot bar. So, ooh, still trying to see you turned out, Chris. Lift in front and pull down. One more. Oh, hello, hips. And pull and then down. Beautiful work. Bend that knee in. Find the foot bar with the other foot if I can. Where is it? There it is. And then take that foot out. Nice. Hold it here for a second. And I want you to just give yourself a little stretch. Take that leg and just pull it across your body. Ow. And just stretch out that hip. A lot of work. Good stability work for that hip. Always lighten your tension if you feel like you're coming out of form at all. Okay, so by all means, stop your camera or stop um, the video. Come down in your tension. You could by all means do this with just a half a spring if you ever feel like you were losing your form. Okay, let's come to the other side. <clears throat> Lying down, making sure that you are straight now. So from tailbone to head, you are in one line. Pressing back, use the bottom foot bar or sorry, the bottom foot to press you out as you put the top leg in the strap. And yep, 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 that's good. Okay, here we go. Bend that bottom knee, lift up that rib cage from underneath. The leg is a little bit in front of me. It is not straight down because I don't want to burn my nose with my rope. So let it come a little bit in front of you. Here we go. Bend it forward and then press it straight down. Bend. Keep your spine perfectly still and hinge at the hip. Push away. This is wonderful stability work for the abdominals. I've said that sometimes in mat too, that my favorite for abdominal work is actually sideline work because you do, you have to really pay attention to what your core is doing so that your spine doesn't move at all. Hinge. And that takes a lot of awareness. Press away and a lot of deep control and this leg is so wonky. Press away. I don't know if you can see how much my leg is wobbling. And press away. I'm trying to steady it. Let's do one more. Lift and then press away. Hold it here. Lift it straight forward. Hinge at the hip. Don't move. Pull it away. Hinge at the hip. Watch that bottom rib cage. Press it to the foot bar. Inhale as you hinge, watch that spine, stretch those hamstrings. So it can be an extremely small move. You do not have to hinge all the way to 90 exactly. Most people cannot. Hinge, I am not. Pulling down, one more. And a hinge. And then pulling down. Okay, let's do lifting up to the ceiling. Laterally rotate, the knee is on the diagonal. Here we go. Hinge it up sideways and then pull it down. Wow, is this challenging on this side? Watching that spine and then pulling down. Decrease your range of motion until you get control or lighten your spring tension. Pull down. Use your belly button. Use the deep abdominals. Use the pelvic floor. Pull down. Think about those inner thighs. Using the glute around that sit bone. Pull. Wow. Hinge, let's do two, and then pull it down, and then one. I have to use my abdominals so much stronger on this side to keep my back steady. Okay, leg circles, stay turned out, hinge to the front, lift up to the ceiling, and then pull around. And again, it's your own range of motion, so my circle is, I don't know what it is, an egg. My circle's like an egg. It's not quite a circle. Hinge, last one this direction, still stay turned out and then pull down and around, change the direction now. Go up to the ceiling first, and then pull down to the forward in front of you, and then circle around to the foot bar. Hinge, two, abs strong. Last one, three, hinge, and then pull, and then down and around, beautiful work. Bend that knee in, find your foot bar with your bottom leg, where is it, there it is. Okay, drop that strap and then stay here with your shoulders. Drop that knee across your body and just stretch 
through that lower um, hip, that working hip we were just using. And let's go into some short box. That was beautiful, you guys. Come on up, grab your short box, ouch. <laughs> Watch your shoulders. Watch your shoulders coming off the carriage. Whew. Okay, here we go. Grabbing your short box. So whatever kind of short box, whatever kind of reformer you have, you might have to put it in front of your um, shoulder rest or you can um, tuck it over like I like to. Um, and then grab a strap. Grab your strap too as well, and I forgot to say that you need that, but if you got a reformer, you're familiar with what you need for short box. Okay, so having a seat on the short box, my mic is going to fall off. There we go. Okay, no tension, let's see. I'm gonna lock my, my reformer into my um, stopper so it doesn't move and I can just concentrate on my body. Don't have to worry about falling. Okay, so tucking those feet under. Pull in here so my knees are a little bit bent and my backs of my shins are into the um, back of the reformer. Sitting them nice and tall. I'm going to scooch my butt back a little bit. Find your sit bones here. So with knees bent, it should be pretty, fairly easy to find that, that, um, that, those sit bones. So sitting them nice and tall. Push your feet out a little bit more so again you feel those outer hips. <laughs> okay, reach your arms forward. Take a breath. Exhale, tuck your tail and just rolling back ever so slightly. Keep your eyes just come crawling up the wall. Don't go too far back, just rounding the spine. Take a breath in and then exhale, rolling up with your core, lifting up. Inhale, exhale, rolling back. <sighs> Breathing, take a breath in and then exhale, rolling up. Same breath as what we use in bridge. Tucking under, rolling back. Pulling the belly button up underneath your rib cage, and then rolling back up. Let's do one more. Breath. Rolling your spine up. Good job. Grab your pole, maple pole. Okay, so you got your maple pole. Reach it in front, and then what I want you to do, thumbs can be underneath, that's fine, so you're grabbing it. Keep your wrist neutral though, so don't, don't flex your wrist like that. Keep them nice and straight. What I want you to do is to gently pull out just a little bit. So you're just pressing out to kind of fire those lats. Okay, so pressing out against that um, um, maple pole. Inhale, same thing. Tuck your tail and rolling back. Now let's come back a little bit further now. Take a breath in, and then exhale, rolling up. Legs up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, rolling back. Nice and steady, take a breath in. And then exhale, rolling up. Let's move back there. Inhale, when we're down. Exhale, rolling back. Inhale, lift the arms up to the ceiling. And then exhale, lifting up. Find your sit bones and then drop those arms forward. Inhale, pushing out. Inhale, and then exhale, lifting, and then pressing it down, one more. Breath. And then come down, good job. Adjust yourself, I felt like I'm scooching forward, but my pants are really slippery, so I'm slipping. This would be nice for a sticky on here so I don't fall. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little twisting. So reaching your arms out, sit nice and tall, take a breath. Exhale, rolling back. Inhale, lifting. Rotate one direction. Inhale, center. Rotate the other direction. Inhale, center. Rotate one direction. Center. One more. Each way. Breath, hold. Exhale, lift and then let it go. Nice work. Ooh, that was good. Okay, stay in here. Reach your arms out and then twist one side. Hold it here. Take a breath. Hinge yourself back now. Feel that straight spine. Hinge, breath in, and then exhale. Lift and then come center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Lift and then center. Woo, feel those obliques. Pull down on that bar, on that pull. Center, twist, hold, 
and center. Let's do this again. I love this one for really feeling your spine. It doesn't move at all. Feel your sit bones. They don't move at all. Lift up and then come center. So you're not moving through your lower body at all, right? We're just hinging at the hip. And then lift and then come center and let it go. Nice work. Shake it out. Place the maple pole aside. Turn into a long box now. So coming forward, and my box, because it's short, it has to be on this side of the shoulder rest. So, um, so you can position your box however it's comfortable on your reformer. And let's go ahead and really lighten it up for some um, arms pulling straps. One of my favorite exercises. I'm gonna stay on half a spring. That is my choice, half a spring, which is a blue color for Stott. <clears throat> Um, you could, by all means, go quarter. Um, not only do you pull into bigger muscle groups when you use a heavier tension, but then also your bones go all out of whack. So I find that when I'm doing arms pulling straps for me, where I really have to watch is my wrist move movement, okay? So you want to keep your wrist really straight and just move your arms, but the wrist doesn't move along with you. Okay, so lying on your stomach, mounting it like a surfboard, which I have never done, but this is what I've been told. This is how you mount a surfboard, okay? Take the straps, really walk up to those ropes. You're comfortable on your diaphragm, comfortable for the front of your body, reaching your head all the way down to that headrest, reaching those legs away. I'm gonna externally rotate, really reaching away. Arms are forward, take a breath in, and then lift up. And then roll your spine down. Pull the belly button up, reaching those legs, rolling down. Arching up, moving that spine, keep your head nice and long. Last one, you're gonna stay up here this time. Lifting up, working the back of the shoulders, keep those collarbones wide, watch those wrists. I was bent just a little bit. Triceps one, belly is in. Two, can you knit your ribs together in this position? It's hard. Three, and four, straight wrists. And five, I almost have to look. And six, belly's in. Seven, one more. And eight, hold it here, reach your arms out to the side. Come all the way down. Take a breath. I'm gonna readjust my hands. Arms out to the side, parallel with the floor. Take a breath in. And then exhale, arching up. Pulling those arms to the hips, inhaling down. Belly is still in, glutes are active. Inhaling, pubic bone is pressing into that box. Feeling the back of the shoulders, working the back of your spine. Arching up and rounding down. Length, really reach those legs. No, nothing moving in the low back. We're not arching into that low back. Just the upper back, oh my goodness. Reach those arms up. My arms and my shoulders are getting tired even on half a spring. One more, and then pulling back. Oh my goodness, and then back down. It helps if I breathe properly. <laughs> and then come on back, push yourself back into a little child's pose. Whew. Round your back, relax your chest and your shoulders, and take a breath, and then let it go. And then come on off. Good work. Take the box, place it aside. Bring the foot bar up, and let's do a little stomach massage. So I'm gonna keep it kinda low. Stomach massage for stomach massage. My butt will slip in these pants. So I'm gonna put a little sticky down so that I don't slip. <laughs> I'm gonna slip inside my pants, but not on the reformer. Stomach massage, two springs, two reds. You can go one red, one blue, one and a half, or you can do two full, okay. Keeping your sit bones right underneath you. Roll yourself back just a little bit off of them to get your feet up. Pull your heels together. Grab onto the front of the carriage. And now what I want you to do is kind of lengthen your upper spine. So you're not collapsed, you're not smushed down onto that, onto that um, pelvis. I want you to kind of lift up and away even though your spine is, is, is curved. So you are up really high, light on those sit bones. Pull that low belly in, here we go. Press away, lower and lift the heels. Under, lift up and pull in, low belly. Inhale. Light touch on that carriage. You're not holding yourself up with it. You're holding yourself up with your abs 
and your torso. Let's keep going to press, lower lift, laterally rotate. Make sure you're turned out, it's not parallel. Last one. Lower lift and then come in. Take your hands, push them behind you. You can even put them up on the shoulder wrist if you feel like it. If your arms can reach in, that's okay for your shoulders. Open that chest, open the shoulders, pull that belly in, bring the knees a little bit closer together. Here we go. Inhale. And press out. You are just in a little lumbar flexed position. Just that low back, just a little bit. Stretching through those shoulders. This feels wonderful and so easy, right? Oh, and I was hyperextending my elbows, so be careful. I just felt myself pushing into my elbows. Don't hyperextend those elbows. That felt really good. Now this is a little more challenging. Pull that low belly and let's do three. Low belly. And a two. Soften those elbows. Woohoo! And a one. Press. Lower and lift and then come all the way in. Yeah, nice work. That was interesting, right? Sometimes I, you even have to remind yourself as a teacher um, not to do something, right? Come on off. Let's do a little uh, stretching for just for the hip flexors. So just really nice and easy. Not quite a stretch for the end. One foot is forward, one foot is back there. You can turn out or you can just be a little sideways. I just want to give the legs a little bit of a stretch here um, since we're not going to use them for a little bit here. And I just want to kind of stretch them out because <sighs> it feels good. And then bending, making sure you're behind this front heel. You're not over that um, front toes at all. And then bring it in, switching sides. Nice and easy, quick, super simple, easy stretch. Oh, that felt good. Okay, turning out, turning out, whatever's comfortable for that leg, just do a nice easy stretch. I'm gonna turn in just a little bit, oh my goodness. Just stretching those inner thighs. And again, hyperextension, make sure you always keep your, your knee that has force in it a little bit soft, so you're not pushing to the back of the knee. I do not hyperextend, so it's not that big a deal for me. Stretching, oh my goodness. One more. Ooh, that feels good. Nice. Let's go into a little upper body now. Ooh, hand rotation. Sitting sideways. I'm going to really take my tension down to a quarter spring. And we're going to do, I like to say, this, this um, series of exercises drives most of my clients crazy because the tension is so light. But like I've said before, when you want to work smaller muscles, you must, you must, must, must lighten the load. It is not about heavy tension when you work the rotators, when you work smaller muscles, when you work the transversus. It's not about that. This is about stability. Okay, so grab your strap. I am on a quarter spring, and that is it for me. Scooch away from the shoulder rest a little bit just so that you have good tension. The arm closest to the foot bar goes into that strap. Thumb stays on top, elbow stays into your body. This is external rotation. So the thumb stays in, the hand is right in front of you, thumb is on top. Keep the wrist straight. Press away, twist away, and then twist back front. So what am I twisting? I'm twisting this upper arm, and I'm trying to use a little muscle in my rotators called the infraspinatus, which is in the back of my shoulder blade. Twist open, and then bring it back parallel, right front, and twist open. If even the small tension that you have right here is a little bit too much, what you can do is guide yourself with your other arm a little bit. Make sure you don't feel anything up here. Make sure you try to really feel on that back shoulder blade, and then back front, and then side. Whew. And as it gets tired, what you're going to feel is just tiredness and a burning. Okay, so that's what I want you to feel. It just burns. It just burns. Yep. It's burning. And my arm, my bicep is coming into play a little bit, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of help. Make sure you're sitting up really tall off those sit bones, lifting up that pelvic floor, tightening that girdle, that transverse abdominal, surround your low back. One more. Twist open. Oh my goodness. And then come down and then let it go. Shake it out. So it should just be tired, right? That's what you feel, just tired. Grab onto the strap now. Nice neutral wrist and elbow is in front and then lift the elbow up to the side. This one's really hard. So you don't want to jut your um, arm bone forward, your shoulder bone forward like this. You want to keep it open and just try to isolate the movement from that upper arm. Lift, lower down. This is another small rotator. Lift and then lower down. One you might not be able to feel. Lift and lower down. Heavy tension. You'd probably be pulling with bigger muscles like your upper traps. 
and a muscle in your neck. So we don't want to do that. We want to try to give that small little rotator a chance to work. Lift and strengthen. And across in front, lift it up. And then across in front one more time. Lift it up and then across in front. Shake it out. Okay. Scooch away even more. Flip hands. Palm is in. Pull that arm right in front of you and you're going to twist it hand to um, chest and then open, hand to rib cage and then open. So now you're still rotating this arm, okay? This is internal rotation now. Another different rotator. And then back across and then twist in and then slowly back. I could probably go a little bit heavier. Twist in and then back across, but I won't. I'll just keep it on this. Twist in and then back across. Let's do two more. Twist in. Oh, I'm feeling it. Back across. Again, the shoulder blade, the back shoulder blade. This one. And then back across. Twist it in this time and hold it. Grab onto that strap. Lift the elbow up like you have stinky armpits. Lift that elbow up. Lift it up. And now squeeze that armpit as you bring it across. Don't move through your elbow and don't move through your wrist. Chris, lift up. Keep that wrist really neutral. Push it across. Lift up. Squeeze that armpit. Think light on the tailbone and sit bones. Reach a crown of your head. Try not to lean one direction or the other. If you have a mirror, make sure you're not tilted away, okay? And you're not pulling with your entire body to do this. So just keep yourself up really straight. And pull it in, one more. Lift it up, and then pull it across. Now, heavy it up a little bit. I'm gonna add one blue, so I'm on three quarters. Have it up for some rotation. Twist, grab on with both hands. Let's grab on with this um, outside arm. So the arm that's closest to the foot bar, take that hand in the strap and put the other hand on top of it. Twist yourself, oh, I'm gonna move a little bit closer. Twist yourself towards your pull, so your opposite direction, you're not against tension right now. Hug those elbows out to the sides. Pull that belly in, and then we're gonna rotate towards the foot bar. Oh my goodness, twist. Oh, I could have kept a little bit lighter, I'm crooked. Could have kept it a little bit lighter. Twist back around. Exhale, rotate. Inhale around. Light off those sit bones and tailbone. Try to engage your pelvic floor here just a little bit. Rotate around. Rotate back. Rotate back. Two more. Twist around. And this is where you really have to think about not leaning in towards that pressure, right? And back around. Whoa, good work. Let's stay on this side for now. Take your foot bar, bring it back up. I'm gonna stay on three quarters of a spring. I'm not gonna go any heavier. Pretzel your legs. Shin is back, leg is forward. Try to find both sit bones, but again, one side's probably gonna be lifted up, but that's okay. Hand is a little more in front, mermaid. So we're twisting and now we're side bending. Pressing away, and then pulling it in with control. So this is like footwork for your arm. So it pushes away, this is the strength. This is the control, the eccentric control that you wanna fight that spring tension coming in with the armpit down here, pressing away, and fight that tension coming in down here. Try not to push into that um, shoulder forward. Over, and then coming up, lift up, lift up, lift up nice and tall, one more. Side bend over. Bellies in from the front, and then lifting them nice and tall. Good, okay, let's flip sides. Come back down to your really light tension. Grab your other strap. The arm that is closest to the foot bar, scooch away, and keep it up. Um, comes into the strap, closest to the foot bar. Thumb is on top, back of the palm is in that strap. Watch that wrist position, hug that elbow into the body, don't move your upper arm at all, and rotate it open, twist open, and then back across. This one should be easier. Twist open, and then bring it back across. And bring it back across. And again, we're trying to feel that shoulder blade back here. Okay, try not to feel it. If you feel it down the center of that bicep, use the other hand and make it like an eighth of a spring. It is, means it's just a little too heavy and your bicep is wanting to help. So you want to lighten it up. Use that other arm. Whew. Now this is just about to fatigue right here. Oh. Try not to move your body. Lift up off those sit bones and tailbone. 
pelvic floor. Relax your thighs. <laughs> Twist. And then come on in. Good job. Grab that strap. Grab the wrist. Lift the elbow up to the side. And here we go. Um, elbow up to the ceiling. And then bring it back down. And try not to elevate the bones in the shoulder at all. We're just moving that arm bone. Keeping the hand into the body. Don't push the hand out to the side. So keep the hand right underneath you. It's not about the hand. It's not about the forearm. It's about your upper arm lifting up and then pulling it back in. And lifting the upper arm up and then lowering it back down. Lifting the upper arm up and then back down. The muscle that we're working is right along the collarbone right up here, top of that shoulder. And you don't want your traps to work at all. You want to relax it and try to get into that little rotator. Lift and then lower down. Let's do one more because I'm about done. Lift, make sure your wrist is straight, and then come down. Good. Switching hands. I'm going to scoot your way just a little bit. Hug that elbow in. Wrist is neutral. Thumb is on top. Again, really tall, so think posture, right? Everything we've been doing, lift that crown of the head, pull that hand into the body, and then open to the side. Lift, 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 lift. Try not to lean. Feel evenness on both your sit bones, and just feel the straightness of your body. You should actually be in a little neutral here. So a little, little lumbar curve, just a little bit. And should be pretty easy for everybody because your thighs are off the carriage. Um, so the thighs are open. And pull. And then open. And pull it across. And then open. And pull it across. And then open. Let's do one more. Hold it here. Grab onto that strap. Lift that elbow. Stinky armpit. Okay, here we go. Lift it up to the ceiling. And now this one is the pull across. That's the action. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale. Control and squeeze right in that deep armpit. Inhale up. That's where that other small rotator is we're trying to focus on. Hinge up. Lift up. And then pull down. Try not to move the bones of your shoulders at all. You're just moving that arm bone. Hinge it up, lift. Exhale, squeeze it down. And inhale, or I should say tighten it down. Kind of like the word tighten more than squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Not moving that elbow at all. Squeeze in, but tighten it down. Okay, heavy back up for some rotation. All right. A little bit closer. Twisting away, hands are right in front of that sternum. Grab on with the arm that is the hand that is closest to the foot bar. Stack your other hand on top, and here we go. Exhale, rotate. Try not to lean at all. Feel yourself really even through both sit bones and tailbone. Exhale. Wow, that is hard. And twist that rib cage. Keep those hands right there. I'm not pushing with my shoulders all at all. My shoulders at all. They're staying right in front of me. Twist around. Twist to the foot bar. Twist around. One more time. Twist to the foot bar. And then twist around. It's a, it's a mermaid. Swinging the legs around. One foot is up. Shin is against the shoulder rest, and the other foot is on that carriage. Try to anchor the, both those sit bones, but that one is lifted up. Hand is a little bit more in front than completely out to the side. Take a breath, and then exhale, side bend over, and take your opposite arm and bend over, and let that weight of that shoulder and that arm kind of bend you over even more. Lift up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Move in that rib cage over, extend through the side, contract, control, and lift up, and then come back. One more. Side bend over, and then come back. Good work. Let's do some knee stretches. Uh, I put my shoulder, my straps up here, so I'm going to stink them in the well. Knee stretches, a little bit of thigh work. Um, lots of abdominal control, lots of awareness of how your spine is bent. I'm going to heavy it up, two springs. You want your thighs to burn, make it heavy. 
Okay, here we go. So you're sinking back to those heels, tuck that tail, push that low belly in, relax that neck and that chest, and you're kind of looking straight down. Here we go, relax the wrists, push back and pull in. Squeeze those glutes. Don't, don't, don't lift up that tailbone on the, on the back. Don't lift it up, keep it tucked. Two, one, come on in. Straight spine now. Lift the tailbone up. Get the straight spine. So now you are as straight as you can be, as you can feel in your body. Again, if you have a mirror, check yourself out in the mirror. Nice straight spine. The head lifts up a little bit more. Pull the belly in. Here we go. Press it back and pull in. There I go, Chris. Soften those elbows. Keep the spine straight. You gotta think about lifting that tailbone as you come in. Back is long. Whoa, this is hard. For four, quads are burning. Three, yes they are. Two, and one, and then come all the way in. Nice. Push back, give yourself a little kneeling child's pose. Pull against your bar, relax your wrist, relax your neck, and stretch into that low spine. And breathe. And then come on up. Let's stretch up on the reformer. That sounds good. I am going to come down to one and a half. One and a half, one foot stays back on the shoulder rest. The other foot comes back onto the foot bar. Grab a sticky if you feel like you're gonna slip off this um, front foot. Press it back, stretch, keeping the back knee down. Oh, goodness. <sighs> nice work. And breathing. And then coming in, stretch, one more, push it back. Coming into the um, stopper, um, I get a big stretch through this front hip flexor, or from my back hip flexor actually. So as I come in, I'm lifting my chest up, trying to pull that um, carriage in as close as I can to the stopper, Woo! and that is a big stretch for that hip flexor. And then switch sides. Hip flexor and quadriceps, other leg up. Toes are back, press away. So I'm simultaneously pushing back with my reformer and pushing from this leg up here. So I'm pushing that reformer back with my back leg and pushing from my front leg. So getting hamstring and a hip flexor stretch all at once. It's a good thing. Stretching back, squaring your hips as much as possible. Pushing to the hamstring. And this is just a stretch so you can do whatever feels comfortable Whatever feels good, like your body needs to do right now, just to stretch out that hip. Oh, all around this hip joint in this leg. Come on in, keep the carriage into the stopper as much as you can, lifting your chest up to really stretch through that hip flexor on oh, the back quadricep. Oh, yeah. And then coming in. That was much better. I almost got into the stopper on that one. Okay, take a seat. Sitting on the side of reformer. Just sit here, breath in, and then exhale, relax, sink, inhale, exhale, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, fold forward over your thighs, breath, inhale, exhale, stand on your feet, inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up, dropping your shoulders. Breath in, inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, lower. Nice. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know below what you think. Maybe um, even let me know like what kind of reformer you have so I can kind of tailor it to um, who's watching and who's doing my um, workouts, depending on what kind of reformer you have, because I know some low sitting reformers work a little bit differently. So let me know. Thank you so much. I had a great time. I hope you feel good and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.